we're going to briefly introduce the, the process of creating HX50, uh, a lot of the decisions that went into the design and some of the technical decisions that have led the product to be what it is today. I'm Jason Hill and I'm the Chairman and Chief Engineer of Hill Helicopters. Hi, my name is Henry Mooreshead and I'm the Chief Designer for Hill Helicopters. So there's an old Leonardo da Vinci quote that says art and science can walk together and that's not just true, it's essential. And so a lot of what we've done with HX50 is to sculpt a form that's exquisite to look at. A number of the common aircraft that are still flying at the moment were designed a long time ago, perhaps in the 50s or the 60s. And if you consider how far uh, automotive design has come in that time, uh, then perhaps you can understand the potential in aerospace uh, as to where we can take these products with some design input. What you find when you do that is a lot of the things that you have to do to make a surface beautiful and to make the light flow over the surface elegantly uh, are very closely related to the things that you've got to do to design an efficient aerodynamic body. The way to make the design timeless is to stick to the basics crafting a fuselage with very low drag, fully cowl in the rotor hub, retract the undercarriage out of the flow so you're left with just an elegant fuselage that's been fully optimised to be a level attitude in flight. So the HX50 has actually got the widest fuselage in this class of helicopters at 1.65 metres, so you can comfortably sit five full-size adults in the, in the back. We've got a unique opportunity with HX50 that we are designing the epitome of this means of travel. Vertical takeoff and landing is great, but it's only great if you can do something when you've got into the air. Our helicopter is designed to fly for up to five hours. It speeds up to perhaps around 200 miles an hour, so a comparable speed to some high-end cars. Meaning that you can take off from your back garden or your office or some customer's premises, and then you can fly for hundreds of miles very, very quickly ahead of trains, ahead of scheduled commercial air transport, faster than any other mode of transport. But unlike those cars, we can sustain those speeds. We don't have to slow down for roundabouts or traffic lights or speed cameras. Of course, even with an extremely low drag fuselage, ultimately the performance of your aircraft comes down to the amount of power that you have available. We've gone to uh, a great deal of effort to develop our GT50 engine which provides a very efficient source of power for the aircraft. And that means that we can maintain a cruise power setting of around 400 horsepower while only consuming 34 to 35 gallons of uh, jet fuel per hour. Most of the existing light helicopters that exist to today use aerofoil sections that were first developed in the 1940s and 1950s. Uh, these sections are relatively draggy by modern standards. Our rotor uses modern aerofoils with an evolving plan form and an evolving aerofoil section along the, uh, the blade, along with a, a modern tip construction. And that's really the key benefit from starting from scratch and being able to design a, a completely clean sheet, innovative new helicopter. We're designing HX50 primarily for private customers. Now these are people who may well step out of a boutique hotel step into a courtesy car, which might be an S-Class, might be a Bentley. They'll then step into an aircraft for flying somewhere, conducting their day's business, and then repeating the journey in return. It's important to us that the aircraft stage of that day is not a discontinuity. The starting point with the interior design of the aircraft is the flying experience, is making the most of this unique experience of floating above cities and countryside and sensing the freedom of movement, the lightness, the agility of the aircraft. We've taken a very long, hard look at the whole workflow of operating a helicopter, flying a helicopter, indeed being inside a helicopter for five hours, and made sure that we've designed a clean, easy to use, easy to operate cockpit environment where the controls are comfortable to use for long periods, where only the information that the pilot requires is presented to him, and where the electronics does a lot of the work for you to make flying a simple and enjoyable process. It's an interesting challenge to put a, an iPad into a cockpit. So we've taken the view that we've separated the two functions of the cockpit from those that are critical flight parameters and things that are based on data. 
And by separating those two things, we can then put a tablet-based system front and center in the cockpit, those capabilities of the aircraft get uplifted as those technologies evolve. And only the things that are functional to the aircraft, the things that won't change in the aircraft, those are the things that are hard coded and hard built into the aircraft. So we've elected to make a, uh, a single controller immediately adjacent to the collective where you can use a, a puck or a numerical keypad to directly input your barometric settings, your transponder codes, your radio frequencies, and a whole host of other frequently used pieces of, of information that you need to input into the system to be able to operate it. Traditional helicopter flight controls are industrial at best. Our approach is to modify the action of the collective rather than being up and down, it becomes a fore and aft motion so that that's fundamentally compatible with having an armrest in the centre of the cabin, making long flights much more comfortable. It also means that your arm in its resting position is easily able to access the puck control that we use to control and provide data input to all of the onboard systems. We've developed a novel cyclic system that uh, combines various uh, benefits from a handful of cyclic designs that have been used over the, over the years. Rather than terminating directly down into the floor, our cyclic is mounted in the forward panel, the instrument panel of the, the aircraft, and it's pivoted, so it's quite easy to lift the handle up and down to aid entry and egress into the helicopter. And the very fact that there's no stick in between your legs allows the cyclic grip to comfortably float over both of your legs. We have with HX50 an opportunity to move on general aviation in terms of design and engineering to match the expectations of modern customers. We're creating much more than just another helicopter. We're trying to create a best of breed helicopter, an aerial grand tourer, an exquisitely crafted new aircraft that's not only capable, but it's beautiful. It sits perfectly harmoniously amongst your collection of supercars, your boats, all the other lifestyle accessories associated with high-flying individuals. Our interior is crafted to the same standards of the highest end premium automobiles. So anybody stepping out of their, their Bentley or their Aston Martin will feel right at home in the cockpit of a HX50. We're presenting a product which introduces itself it needs to greet customers in any country, in any language, with our company values and our design values. It needs to make them feel welcome and at home. We're not only making a best of breed helicopter, we intend to make the most beautiful and desirable helicopter in the world. That's what HX50 is really all about.